What's up everyone, Pure Chaos X here with a kind of a follow-up uh, to the video about this. The Wingman, which won't focus because there's too much going on in the background. But yeah, I made an unboxing video and test video about this the other day. And yeah, this is a very surprisingly good piece of equipment. Um, and in that video, I said that I was going to try and get the Wingman working on the Xbox 360 with an Xbox uh, Series X controller, because we haven't tested that. Uh, so I do have said Xbox 360 down there. As you can see, it's one of the original uh, Elites. It's even got the wireless thing there. And the good old power brick. There's my original Xbox sitting just there. Um, Bloody frame rate, don't have dip when it gets dark. But yeah. Yeah, so um, what we're also going to do is you can just about see the Xbox Series X just there. I'm also gonna test uh, the Wingman XB2 <clears throat> on the Series X with a now fully charged Pro controller. So this is now actually I'm not gonna push the buttons, that's probably gonna turn the switch on. And, which I forgot I even had, uh, a PS4 controller. Uh, it's a bit worse for wear. Um, I got it as a job lot from one of my aunties, in fact. It was just giving away a lot of her son's old computer stuff. In fact, that's where the Xbox 360 came from, was my was my aunt. Um, so yeah, this needed a bit of a repair just to get it working again. Um, but I might actually pick up a cheap PS4 controller. Uh, I was going to restore this one, but I don't really think there's any point I might as well just get a working one and use that as a spare. I might even paint the front fascia <clears throat> a custom colour. Why not? So yeah, we'll be testing these, hopefully, on the Series X. And this on the 360. So if I can remember where I put my remote control. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's not. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot to plug the Xbox 360 into the TV. Give me two seconds. Right, now it's plugged into the TV. I've had to set it up horizontal or vertical uh, because the HDMI cable that I just quickly found was too short for it to lay flat. But, and Jesus Christ, that frame rate does. I'm going to try and do something about that. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try because it's, it's going to annoy me. Hang on. Okay, I think I got it. I think it was the low light compensation setting, so I just turned that off and it seems to have done the trick. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's all hooked up. So let's turn the Xbox on. Which doesn't make a little sound like the other ones. Switch to HDMI 1. Hello! And uh, center the TV a bit, or center the camera. And maybe I should do my Let's Plays like this from now on. The professional DSP style. Of course, it hasn't signed me into Xbox Live. Oh, that means I'm actually going to have to. Let's set. Let's just try this first. It should have. It should have connected me. What the fuck? Okay, and for some strange reason, it set me up as the second controller. Uh, let me unplug the brook. And then we'll uh, <coughs> reconnect. And now it doesn't even want it. Well, why is it connecting me as the second controller? Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this should have automatically connected me. There's my network, pure cows X, no surprise. Uh, this, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already done this. Yeah, it's got, an, it's got, it's got an IP address. What? I'll, I'll blur that out. I'm sure. <laughs> so why won't it sign me into Xbox Live? <sighs> why? I've already done all that. Oh look, my email address. Ooh. 
And now I, I need to. Oh, God damn it! Uh, this was all put in already. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm gonna figure out what this was. Yeah. So the Xbox shows one quadrant, but my controller is actually the other. Okay. Yeah. So, oh look, I uh, no idea what happened there. Uh, I I was signed in. I have been signed in. That has my. Uh, okay. I'm gonna disconnect my controller. I have used the Xbox 360 before, and you saw that it had an IP address. So it was obviously well, you didn't see it because I'm gonna hope you blow it up. But okay. Now, I'm plugging the brook into the Xbox. It's just there. Okay, uh, get my Series X controller, turn that on. We're going to turn, push the sync buttons on the brook. It is now flashing rapidly. I'm now going to sync this. And see if it finds it. Oh, oh, oh it vibrated. Uh, you can't actually see the lights, but they are solid. So... Hey! <laughs> Do I have any... Okay, I have some games built in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh god, unfortunately I don't have many games that I'm like, in the middle of. And I can just boot up. <laughs> I'm gonna try Sonic the Hedgehog, why not? Yes, no? It's, it's... Thinking about it? Uh... Hmm, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, okay. For some strange reason, the game is very slow. Well, we know that already, but... Yeah. <laughs> hey! Says, so, yeah. Uh, save. Oh, god damn it. I kind of hope I might have a... Oh, no, wait, no, I don't, because it's not, like... Can I just, I just, can I just like quickly try a, a thing? Okay, won't let me. Okay. <laughs> so I keep seeing my reflections, but and I keep looking that way because I'm looking at my monitor. All right, yes, the loading screens. all the cutscenes. I, I do want to play this actually, even though I'm already playing that Project 06 version. I kind of want to play the original as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I would have actually tried Project Gotham Racing, but I, I can't be bothered to get the disc. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I honestly can't see any or feel any lag. I, I don't like the um, the camera rotation directions. Can I? Oh, I can't change it. Yeah. Oh, there's tails. <clears throat> well, it's so far so good. Yeah. If you if you prefer this over this, shut up. Then yeah. The only problem I have with this is that the thumb is that the triggers don't feel as good as these, and the thumbsticks can sometimes feel a bit tighter, and it doesn't feel like they've got as good a grip, even though they're almost identical. Oh, and the D-pad sucks. <laughs> as I'm sure everyone agrees, the D-pad does suck on the 360 controllers. But yeah. Um, I mean, I think the game's got a bit of slowdown. <laughs> so, but yeah. Tails? No. Oh, okay. Hey. I don't have enough wings. Wait, how come I don't have any rings? <laughs> With the money, you can shop in town. Go to the store and buy 
stores often to check out the new items. I will. I don't have any. Re oh wait, do I have to do that? Um, yeah. We, we, we won't be doing that. But yeah, everything else works. That works. And there's no reason why it shouldn't. Obviously, because they're exactly the same layout. So, just this has a shit. Does does this do anything? No. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there you go. If if you want, if you prefer this controller and the way it feels over the original 360 controller it works a treat not a problem at all uh, I can't say for the longevity of it uh, like I said in the least last video uh, Bringer Studios which is who I found out about this from had connection issues that sometimes it would drop the connection and then you had to reconnect I don't know how long he'd been playing before it does that I don't know how consistent it is but it has happened to him it hasn't happened to me yet in, in the testing I've done so, might be okay, um, but yeah, I, I still plan to get an Xbox One controller specifically for this on the um, Xbox and 360. So that way I won't have to keep like reconnecting this controller or my PC controller basically, and just have one dedicated just to that wingman. But uh, yeah, it it works. Ouch! <laughs> uh, yeah, works. Works fine, as you saw. Uh, like I said, I would have actually liked to have tried a racing game, because obviously that's what I play the most. But yeah, these all need discs, and I can't bother to put a disc in. <laughs> but yes, believe me, it does work. As, as you can see, it is working. And like I said, I can't... I don't know if this is like a good test for lag, because obviously there might be a bit of lag on OBS. And the camera, so I can't really tell, but if, it really is not like when I'm looking at this, pushing the button. Oh, hang on, look, aha, it has actually lost connection, but it, it came back on its own, so I'm not quite sure what that was all about. That did not happen with the OG Xbox, and I was testing it for longer, and I even played an entire race on Project Gotham Racing, so that was weird. That was weird. But I can't see any lag when it is working. Um, but yeah, it did disconnect as you just saw. <laughs> and I was just talking about it, so that's quite handy. Um, but yeah, it works. There we go. Proof positive that you can use an Xbox Series X and one controller on a 360 if you want to. But now, the other event is getting the wingman working on the Series X. So let's do that. Turn off the 360. Hello again. And we'll switch it to that. Ah ha ha. Uh, I should probably change this wallpaper as we're no longer in Pride Month. <laughs> uh, by a considerable margin, in fact. So I, I should probably, yeah. Okay, the Xbox 360 taking a wee while to actually shut off. There we go. Alright, good thing about the 360 and the Series X and the Xbox One if you wanted to is that, yeah, there's a USB port directly on it so you don't need an, any kind of adapter cable. So, yeah. But let's plug this into here. Yeah, like I said. Bloop. So, flashing. Uh, I don't, actually, I'm just wonder, uh, wondering if this is still... I, I was going to say, do you want to sync this <laughs> to the Wingman on the Series X? But, yeah, I mean, it works anyway. It has connected, though. Uh, you can see it is solid blue. So it has reconnected. It's saved the sync settings even after being unplugged, which I think is a good thing. So, yeah. But that's not what we want. So let's turn this off. And let's try the Switch controller first. Hang on, I have to get to the other side of the camera. Hello. Okay. So, yeah, um, Switch controller. Turn on the Switch controller, which is, like I said, is now fully charged. <laughs> and we'll push the sync button on top. And then we'll push. Okay, that's now in sync mode. 
still sinking. Uh, is this sinking? I'm holding the button down. It's doing the flashy thing. Let's try holding the buttons on the device again. Oh, there we go. I wasn't holding it long enough. Okay. There you go. It's now gone solid blue. That's gone two lights. Okay. And survey says. Hey. And again, almost, I, I can't see any lag whatsoever. It feels really smooth, actually. Really nice. Uh, what kind of quick game can we start? <laughs> Doom. Uh, it just needs to be something basic. I don't even know what to start up, actually. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it, go on. <laughs> we'll try a racing game. I, I find that to be a possibly a good, uh, a good, uh, a good choice to test things. It does require. Oh, this thing it does not seem to want to sit straight. <sighs> Ignore anything that I'm doing in the reflection of the television. Game usually skip that. Well, that's a point. Where's the home? Oh, actually, it does have a home key. Should we try that? Hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah, sinking date. Oh, yeah, I stopped it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, this could take a while, as it so often does. It does take a while sometimes to do data syncing. Not nearly there. Do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> so always, always the end. Always at the end. They, there we go. <clears throat> Five minutes thirty for my skill team. Fifteen hundred feet exactly. Oh, I'm missing a cutscene. God damn it. <clears throat> oh no, this is part of the main story. I don't want I don't want to do that. Oh, God damn it, okay. Okay. <laughs> this, this, oh god. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah. Okay, oh, that works. Horn works. It doesn't feel quite as good as the Series X controller. Uh, the triggers, at least, they, they don't, because obviously there's no um, because these 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 just feel like a button. They don't feel like a proper trigger, and they they, they don't travel. There's not much. They're, 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 there's nowhere near as much travel on these ones as there is on a Series X one controller. And yes, I know I'm, I'm kind of moving the controller in and out of shot. 
in an annoying way, and I do apologise. Oh shit. Nailed it. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I wanted this to have been a part of the playthrough. Um, I've, I've now missed that. So <laughs> I guess it's here. If you know, just groovy baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we just needed to try that out. The PS4 controller. But yeah, everything, as you can see, does work. As you just saw, I was able to do a race with a Switch Pro Controller on an Xbox Series X. Who'd have thought it? But yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, the vibration's a bit noisy, but, um, and the vibration does work as well, yeah. But yeah, I don't know if you can you probably hear that vibe. <laughs> it's a bit on the loud side. But <laughs> Bloody Nora. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, Switch Pro Controller, Xbox. Thumbs up. Uh, it's, it's amazingly good. Uh, no dropouts yet. And I can't, again, see, I cannot feel any obvious lag between anything. If there is lag, I honestly can't see it. So, yeah. I. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, so, yeah. This works fine. It was good. This is my. This would my. Yeah. This would be my preferred controller uh, over the PS4. I hate PlayStation controllers, especially the thumbstick placement. I hate them. Uh, so that's why I never got on with my PlayStations when I had some. I just couldn't use the controllers. I just did not like them whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I didn't quite know how to turn this off. So what we'll do? We'll get the PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, we'll set the. Wingman into pairing mode again. Hopefully. Like that. And then we'll put this into pairing mode. Hold share and PlayStation button until this blinks. Like so. That's that sync already. Oh. 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 <laughs> Alright, well that's Oh God, hang on, I'm trying to find the best place to put the controller. So, yeah. Uh, home button? Yep. The B button? Oh, that's rewind. <laughs> um, I don't I don't quite know what check does the colours. Like, is it just stuck to that? Uh... Again, also not quite sure how many controllers you can pair up at once. Uh, I think it is only one. So, any other controller will have to be paired to the console itself, I guess, rather than the wingman. Because uh, obviously, when you try and sync something else to the wingman, it desyncs whatever was connected to it previously. So, so yeah. Ooh, that feels a bit spongy. <clears throat> so... Oh, these feel even weirder. <laughs> the triggers. Oh, God. why do these triggers feel so weird? Yeah, oh, God, they feel really weird. Whee! Uh. Uh. 
I don't know if I like these triggers. They're not bad. Uh, oops. Um, the thumbsticks, yeah, they're, they're absolutely terrible. I, I will never get used to these thumbsticks and the, the layout. I just, I just like the off-center layout of all the Xbox ones. They just feel so much better. Triggers aren't too bad, though. They feel a bit better than the Switch one. If only because there's like a proper amounts of travel. And these are analog, I think is the term. I can drive better than this. I, I promise you that. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. Uh, uh. But yes, um, I, I think this is all the info. Oh, well, these are sticky. Uh, these are all. The this is the information that we have all needed. Yes, you can use a Nintendo and a PlayStation controller on an <laughs> on an Xbox. If you want to, of course. I mean, I'm not quite sure why you'd ever want to use a PlayStation controller. Because, uh, like I said, to me, they're absolutely terrible. And I've never gotten used to them. Which is it's one of the main reasons why I sold my PS1 and PS2 and PS3 and never got a PS4. Oh, there's a ramp there. Oh, man. Because, yeah, I just, I mean, I bought them for racing games, I bought them for Gran Turismo, basically. But I just could not get used to the thumbstick layout, so I just didn't bother with them anymore. Just sold all my PlayStations. <laughs> so, yeah. Whee! Uh oh. And we'll park it there, why not? Uh, uh, so, there we go. Once again, proof positive, you can use a PlayStation controller on an Xbox. So presumably, this will also work if you have a DualSense controller. should also work. And, oops, I just pushed the accelerator button. Oh. Uh, Well, you know what, any crash you can walk away from. Um, so, ouch. So, yeah, yeah. You can use these, and you can use this on a Series X, and presumably an Xbox One. And, of course, you can use this on an Xbox 360. And you can use, presumably... Oops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and you can use all of these, again, presumably, on an original Xbox. Uh, basically, uh, the Wingman XB2, like I say, it's the XB2, so Xbox. It works on all generations of Xbox and presumably any controller that's Bluetooth. So you'd obviously have to get the newer uh, Xbox One controllers that have Bluetooth, but I think the older ones just had wireless. And yeah, again, these work as well because they're Bluetooth. And you can use the DualSense. And presumably even a PS3 controller. Wait, which button was that anyway? Was that the share button? I don't remember actually the pushing it. I'm guessing, I'm assuming this is a, yeah, pause button, okay. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. If you, yeah, there we go, that's, that's the video I said I was going to make, and I've shown off three different controllers on two different Xboxes. How about that? All from the Wingman, ow, from the Wingman XB2, or is it the Brook Wingman XB2, I think it is? So, yeah, I mean, for 40 quid and five pounds for that Xbox adapter cable, you can't go wrong. <laughs> it, it, it works really well. I had that one um, connection drop off, which you saw, but it hasn't happened since. It didn't happen before that, when I was testing the OG Xbox, and it hasn't happened since then, which was like 10 minutes ago, give or take. Um, so, not quite sure what caused that. <clears throat> But if it gets too much, uh, you can always just get a wired Xbox 360 controller. I'm not quite sure what you can do about wired uh, Xbox One and Series X controllers. Like if the if you use a USB cable, that counts as a wired controller. 
Uh, might be worth a try, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, how do I turn this thing off? <laughs> so doing the same thing, let's see if it actually works the same way. It does. It's turned off. So you can even turn the PS3 control 4 controller off in the same way. So let's unplug that. And just make sure I need to get this reconnected back to the Series X. So. Not that you really need to see that actually, because it's kind of. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, so there we go. Um, multiple controllers working on two different two different Xboxes. Uh, I don't have an Xbox One to test, um, so I can't really try that. But presumably, it's going to be the same as that. So, Series X 360, original 360, and an OG Xbox with multiple different controllers using this little doodad right here. And it is highly recommended if you have an original Xbox, well, if you have any generation of Xbox, and you want to try different controllers. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely a, a good thing, and for 40 quid, I, like I say, I, I don't think you can really go wrong. So, uh, unless you want to buy a dedicated controller for it, in which case it might set you back another 30, 40, 50 quid, depending on what controller you want. But other than that, good thing. I just wish, yeah, it's, it's good. Mm. Yeah, the Wingman XB2, if you want one. I, I found this on eBay. I was only able to find two sellers on eBay that had this, so I was quite lucky there. Um, it might be available on Amazon as well. I, I never looked there. So, yeah. Highly, highly recommend it. If you want it. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop talking now because this video has probably gone on far longer than it needed to be. So, yeah, thank you for watching and... Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. It's good. See you in the next video, whatever that might be. I might carry on with a bit more Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.